It was the same lame vibe. An interesting conversation, lackluster energy, over breakfast. I've known forever that this situation was wrong, completely unhealthy, but still. It's ridiculously sad to watch it end. Seeing him actually walk away, this is not how I thought I'd feel. I'm completely confused. But things have to change and I'm off to the next season of life. Hello? Hey, uh, are you busy? Can you meet? I kind of need to talk to you. Um, I'm kind of like driving around right now, but I can meet at like eight in the usual spot. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Uh, something's going down. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, hi. Yes, thank God. <laughs> no cups? Oh, come on. You know, I always keep it classy. Ah, uh, Jesus. Very welcome. Okay. Cheers. Dude, what's <sighs> up? What's going on? Bro. Okay, check this out. I'm driving Devin to his interview today, right? He left his phone in the car. Mine is kind of tripping out, so I was using his to look things up and keep myself occupied. All of a sudden, this email pops up. Looks kind of weird, and I read it. It's a sexual-ass conversation, dude. So obviously I keep digging. I find myself knee deep and pictures, and videos that he's like sending to the creepiest guys he can find on the internet. And it wasn't even the same video. I mean, props to him, the lighting and the, the angles, on the couch, outside. I mean, he even switched hats. I mean, it was fucking disgusting. That's wild. I dropped him home, I told him I needed some space, but I mean, honestly, I can't go back. Now I have a proper excuse to leave him for good. It's just I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> I, mean, I know this is random as hell, but I'm kind of the only person I'm cool with in LA. Just wondering if I could crash at your place for a bit. Nothing crazy, just till I get back on my feet. Well, Charles is gone, and uh, there's more room in the house, so. Yeah, I'm not doing the best financially, so you can help out. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. You can come sit with me. You sure? I mean, I know you're technically Devin's. I don't want to intrude or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'd much rather have you in my house than know you're, like, sleeping in a car somewhere. No, it's totally fine. You can come sit with me. Thank you. Yeah, Seriously. No problem. Um, I'm pretty much wrapped up, so you want to go home? Home sounds good. Let's do it. What's up? No, just living the dream. 
Sounds good. Not great. But you've been cooped up in here for days. It's not healthy, dude. We're going out tonight. No, 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 no. Because I'm safe here with my donuts and my wine. We can get some vodkas. No. We can look at cute boys. I am uninterested. Taco truck? Mm -mm. Karaoke? Maybe? Well, if you're gonna force me to go. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. You never told me about what happened with Charles. That is complicated, dude. It felt more like a business transaction rather than a relationship. Like, the love was gone, although I knew he cared about me. We just existed around each other, it was just existence. Pay this, do that, breakfast. Eight years is a long time to be with someone. So it's work, relationships are work. But we didn't work anymore. And you're supposed to grow and achieve things together, but that just wasn't happening. I knew it was gonna end for a long time, but now that he's gone, it feels like a piece of me is missing. Like, I don't know myself without him, but I didn't have him for a long time, so it's strange. I'm just gonna have to work on it, just work on myself. Figure out who I am again. You know, weirdly enough, I understand you completely. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. Be okay? <laughs> Shit. 